Good day. Welcome. This is your daily matter with Lady V. Today is Proverbs 19, verse 5. It says, A witness who lies will be punished, that liar will not escape. In continuing in the book of Proverbs, we will see today that God hates lying. He hates a false witness. The Bible says, in fact, it is an abomination unto him. So in society, do we often see people say things, perjure themselves, things that are punishable by the law? crimes that were committed yet how often we see people in the news and in other places do these things without criminal punishment but the bible says a false witness will not escape god's punishment truth is the basis basic characteristics of God himself and he expects those who believe in him those who follow him to speak truth he is truth he says the devil he is the father of lies so when we lie the devil is our father if God's character was not based on truth, we couldn't trust in his promises. We couldn't trust in his word, the Bible, which is written there. We couldn't trust that the things that are foretold, the things that are prophesied, that they are going to come to pass. We couldn't trust that, he, yes, he says he loves us unconditionally, and this is really so. So today, we want to understand that in the eyes of God, it is a, an evil thing to give false testimonies or to engage in other form of dishonesty because that will surely be punished by the Lord. Even if one is never caught in this life, God will still punish on the day of judgment. Let's look at a story in 1 Kings chapter 21. It is the story of Nabat's vineyard and Ahab's false witnesses. And I'll just read the story for you. It says Nabat's vineyard. It says there was a vineyard near King Ahab's palace in Samaria. A man from Jezreel named Naboth owned it. One day Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard that is near my palace. I want to make it a vegetable garden. I will give you a better vineyard in its place or if you prefer I will pay for it Naboth answered by the Lord I will never give my land to you this land belongs to my family so Ahab went home hungry and upset because Naboth told him I will not give you my family's land. Ahab went to bed, turned away from everyone, and refused to eat. His wife Jezebel went to him and asked him, Why are you upset? Why do you refuse to eat? Ahab answered, I asked Naboth, from Jezreel to give me his vineyard. 
I told him that I would pay him the full price, or if he preferred, I would give him another vineyard, but he refused to give it to me. Jezebel answered, But you are the king over Israel. Get out of bed and eat something and you will feel better. I will get Naboth's vineyard for you. Then Jezebel wrote some letters. She signed Ahab's name to them and used his seal to seal the letters. Then she went to the elders and important men who lived in the same town as Naboth. This is what the letter said. Announce that there will be a day of fasting when the people will eat nothing. Then call all the people of the town together for a meeting. At the meeting, we will talk about Naboth. Find some men who will tell lies about Naboth. They should say that they heard Naboth speaking against the king and against God. Then take Naboth out of the city and kill him with stones. So the elders and important men of Jezreel obeyed the command. The leaders announced that there would be a day when all the people would eat nothing. On that day, they called all the people together for a meeting. They put Naboth in a special place before the people. Then two men told the people that they heard Naboth speak against God and the king. So the people carried Naboth out of the city and killed him with stones. Then the leaders sent a message to Jezebel that said Naboth had been killed. Then Jezebel heard this. She said to Ahab, Naboth is dead. Now you can go and take the vineyard that you wanted. So Ahab went to the vineyard and took it for his own. Remember whatsoever is done in secret, God says he will allow such thing to be heard and to be seen in public. So as we look at the other verses, it says, Then the Lord spake to Elijah, who is the prophet. Go to King Ahab in Samaria. He will be at Naboth's vineyard. He is there to take the vineyard as his own. Tell Ahab that I, the Lord, say to him, Ahab, you killed the man Naboth, and now you are taking his land. So I, the Lord, tell you this, where the dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, they will lick up your blood as well. So Elijah went to Ahab. When Ahab saw him, he said, Well, my enemy has found me again. Elijah answered, Yes, I found you, because you have again sold yourself out to do what the Lord says is evil. So this is what he says to you. I will make something bad happen to you. I will kill you and every male in your family. I will destroy your family just as I destroy the families of King Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and King Basha. I will do this to you because you have made me hungry and you have caused the Israelites to sin. 
the Lord also said this about your wife Jezebel dogs will eat the body of Jezebel by the wall of the city of Jezreel as for the family of Ahab whoever dies in the city will be eaten by dogs and whoever dies in the fields will be eaten by birds so Ahab told sorry so Ahab sold himself out to do what the Lord says is evil there is no one who did as much evil as Ahab and his wife Jezebel who caused him to do these things Ahab committed the terrible sin of worshiping those filthy idols just as the Amorites did and that is why the Lord took the land from them and gave it to the Israelites when Ahab heard that Elijah said he tore his clothes to show how sad he was then he put on sackcloth and refused to eat he even slept in these clothes he was very sad and upset the Lord said to the prophet Elijah look at Ahab he has humbled himself before me so I will not make that disaster happen during his lifetime I will wait until his son is king then I will destroy his family so as you have seen from this story in first Kings chapter 21 it is a dangerous thing to do that which is evil in the sight of God and in today's passage especially bearing false witness telling lies causing somebody else to lose their own life over that which is theirs didn't belong to the king but because he was the king he wanted what this other man had and his evil wife helped him to acquire it but God disciplined them or God showed to them that he was the one who punished them punished their entire family punished them down throughout the generations for doing such evil thing so today may we through God's wisdom do that which is right in the sight of God because he will hold us accountable for that which we have done that is evil thank you again for watching today God bless you and may God bless the United States of America